Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do some repotting and potting out of a few nepenthes here in the Highland-ish grow chamber. We're going to be working on this guy right here. This is Nepenthes spectabilis. It's got a split leaf coming out with two different tendrils. This is the second leaf on this plant that has done that, and I believe it's a sign of stress. It is pretty pot bound, so we're gonna get this guy into a bigger pot along with a couple of other new Nepenthes that I'm excited to show you. So yeah, let's dive in. Back at the propagation station, we will go ahead and get started with repotting this Nepenthes spectabilis. This is from the Cinnabung region. It's a clone from Malaysiana Tropicals. As I showed you before, the most recent fully unfurled leaf has split as two tendrils. This is the second leaf that has done that. This other leaf here did the same thing, and we actually got two fully developed pitchers. The one on the right is a little bit smaller, but still a beautiful pitcher. And as far as the roots go, it has a ton of roots. And I believe it's getting a little bit stressed out because of that and uh, would greatly appreciate a bigger pot and some fresh media to grow in. So we'll get this guy popped out, cleaned up a little bit. I might try to find a stake for it because it is kind of floppy, but um, yeah, let's do it. Yes, lots of rootage. So just real carefully kind of tease out any chunks of moss that we can. Uh, obviously don't want to disturb the roots too much. All right, that's about as much as I want to work with the roots on this one. We'll be bumping this guy up into a six inch orchid pot here. I've got my standard Nepenthes mix with some long fiber sphagnum that I chopped up into one or two inch lengths, some really coarse perlite, and some cocoa chips that I have soaked several times to release any salts or other minerals that might, might have built up on those. So yeah, let's get this guy potted. All right, I think that's pretty good. Some nice fresh media. The Pinthies always appreciate that. We'll move on to the next ones. I recently had the privilege of visiting with Drew Martinez over at Carnivoro and picked up a couple of plants from him. This is a newer cross that he made, Song of Melancholy, crossed with Clipiata. It's like, we'll get some beautiful red body pitchers. Really nice, heavily clipiata influenced uh, shape on those. Some beautiful striping coming from Song of Melancholy, along with that red pitcher body. So yeah, I'm super excited to add this one into my lowland or intermediate collection. Got a couple of dead older leaves on them that will get cleaned up. This guy's going to go into a three and a half inch orchid pot with that same mix. A good size plant too. I've uh, really noticed with Song of Melancholy crosses that they do grow quite fast. So I'm kind of tempted to go up one more size in pot, but I think due to current space restrictions, we'll stick with a smaller one and bump it up when I've got more space. Alrighty, that was easy enough. Yeah, awesome to see this guy grow. Some of the specimens that Drew showed me that he has grown out are just spectacular. They're so beautiful. Deep red pitchers, beautiful shape, crazy striping on the peristomes. This is definitely one to look out for. I believe they are still available on Carnivora's website. Definitely snag one up. You will not be disappointed. And last and most exciting, this is a new cross from Carnivoro. These have not been released yet. Drew tells me to look for these to be available sometime this fall. This, I don't know what else uh, to say about it. It's just, there's so much potential for insane flare, color, stripes, anything you want in an Apenthes. This cross has that potential. This is VGI Big Mama by Redonculus. Drew has not sold any of these just yet, so I'm definitely honored to be one of the first to grow these outside of the nursery there. We'll get this guy potted up into my standard mix, get them cleaned out. There's still some kind of ferns and moss, and we'll definitely be keeping an eye on this one for sure. And honestly, this is just one of a lot 
a lot, a lot of exciting new things to come out of Carnivero in the future. So definitely sign up for their inventory updates. Oh, that's going to be so good. Can't wait. Drew, if you're watching, thank you so much. Uh, really looking forward to this guy here, the Song of Melancholy by Clip. Really, all of my plants from Carnivoro have been real winners. Stay tuned for updates on this and my other Nepenthes, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.